in terms of formatting. All right, so let me maximize this. It's not maximizing it. There we go. There's a couple of tricks in terms of how to go about formatting these types of things. Um, one of the things I'll note to find, you'll note in the insert pull down menu, oops, under symbols, if you go symbol browser, Yes. It'll bring up this palette any second now. There we go. You'll notice there's my paragraph marker there. And if I move over it, you'll see paragraph. It may look, the actual template over here may look a little bit different, but you'll find that one will be there. Um, in the PC, I think you can just double click here and it'll automatically go in. In the Mac, you just drag it over and drop it and it'll show up over there. Now it'll show up in this Lucinda Grand font. You want to change that actually all of your document should either be in Times or Times New Roman or Arial. Those are the standard fonts for publishing. So in my case I personally prefer Times New Roman. Again that's a personal preference. But essentially, they're sans serif fonts if you're looking for the class of font. Um, so all standard publishing works in those. So I go Times, and there's Times New Roman. And I can change it over. And you'll notice it changes its look slightly because I've just changed the font. So that's where you would find that paragraph format. So again, I found it under Insert symbol and it would be symbol browser okay now in terms of actually setting up your document let me turn bold off here go under format paragraph and this will essentially give you all of your formatting options for your particular one my default is going to look a little bit different than your default my guess is is your spacing before and after will be 12, or it might be auto, you want to change that back down to zero. Your line spacing may be 1.5, or it may be at least or exactly something. You just want to change that to double. Your indentation. You want to go up, and right now it, you have this special item. It has none. When you start typing, you want to go first line. That will indent every single one of your paragraphs for you. So you don't have to indent them. And when you do all that, click OK. And it will automatically happen. So you'll note up here you can see on my ruler that it has been indented. You know, and if I were to type a bunch of stuff here, first line, right? So you can see, and then when I hit enter, it indents again. Now, there's only one problem with this. When I do a level one heading, you'll note that the heading isn't quite in the center. And the reason it's not quite in the center is because it centers it based upon that indentation up there. The easiest way to fix that is if you have the ruler option, just take that little blue icon there and drag it back so that it's no longer there. If you don't have that little 
ruler there. Just go back up under format, go paragraph, and just go none for that one line. And it'll take it out of just that one line. But when you go back down here, it hasn't changed it on you. Now, you'll notice I made sure that I entered down here so I had another line beneath it. So if I had just did that without having that new line there, it wouldn't have continued to do it. You know, so if I went up here, I'm on the last line of my document now. If I change the formatting for that to none and then I hit enter, you'll notice I'm not indenting anymore. All right, so I always want to make sure that I've got one extra line beneath it if I'm going to change it back to something. Actually, let's just do it this way. Take my sentence. So I'm typing away here, saying some intelligent stuff, as you can see, and I want to get to a level two heading. Now, what I would normally do is I'm going to turn my bold on, put in my level two heading thing here, and turn my bold off, hit enter. And then if I go back up here and just hit the delete button, it'll actually take it back so that it's fully left justified. It'll do that for you automatically, and then I still have my first line indenting intact. So I can continue to write. I have some single sentence paragraphs there, which isn't a good thing, but that's okay. That's how you're going to flow your whole document until you get to the very end where we go to references oops let me spell that right I'm going to center that I'm gonna bold it and then I'm gonna get rid of that just that first line indent there make it left justified again for your references, you're actually going to go in the opposite direction. So you're going to format, paragraph, under special, you want to do hanging this time for your references. And it'll automatically do it 0.5, which is exactly what you want. Because you'll see now what happens is it indents in the reverse. So the first line is... and the second line is indented right so all of your citations do it that way so your citations you go up under format paragraph and under special choose hanging for your actual document you actually use the first line option and it'll indent all the first lines for you 